The other day we were, we were talking about the defining moments in your life where we were we were kidding that uh, we we were about to end our youth, our old age is about to kick in, <laughs> right? But we had we had another discussion about when we felt like we went from being a child to being an adult. Did it happen the day you turned eighteen? Was it more like fourteen? Mm-hmm. You know, and it was it was different for all of us. And and then we we took it to the really important part of the conversation, which was. What event happened? And in some people's cases, it was something traumatic. And in other cases, it wasn't a defining moment, but a defining like period in your life. Like maybe you had a mentor, a person who actually uh, made a huge difference in your life. Maybe you were in the Boy Scouts. Maybe you were on a football team. You know, maybe you joined a, a group that, and somehow that group just made a, a huge difference in in making you a better adult. Uh, as you as you got older, Staff Sergeant Christopher Geber is on the phone, and my gosh, it looks like he's doing some wonderful things with young people. The 2017 United States Army All American High School Bowl game is on this Saturday. Am I saying that? Is it this yes. Saturday? Yes. Yep. Um, he's going to tell us how the students will be mentored, uh, the students' Army careers, the how the uh, United States Army All American Bowl has connected the Army to the American people for more than 15 years. These are tomorrow's leaders. Absolutely. That's what it says in my notes. I agree. Staff Sergeant Christopher Geber, good morning, sir. What an honor. Thank you for being on our show. Oh, thank you for having me, sir. You sound like you've got a busy schedule. So far, yeah, it's pretty busy. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you calling from? I'm in San Antonio, Texas right now. Are, are, I know we want to talk about the kids you're working with, but when you were a child, was it, was there a defining moment for you? Did you have a mentor? Uh, for that would be like the community outreach groups. I mean, that would be uh, either playing football with the with the local community, being part of like the town uh, sports team. Those were like my mentors as well, and, and my father, parents. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people will name their, their parents, and I love hearing that because that means you had good parents. A lot of people will also point to the military. A lot of people who are veterans will say, I, I grew up when I, when I joined the Air Force or joined the Army or, or something of that sort. Does that apply to you too? Uh, definitely when joining the Army, that was when I never had to look back at my parents for anything besides, you know, a friendly conversation and how they were doing. Yeah, uh, that, I mean, we all that's how we all develop. Well, so you're helping tomorrow's leaders develop, and uh, are the kids in the game on Saturday all uh, young people that you've been working with for a while? Yes, yes. Uh, it's a it's a year long commitment that the army has with the local communities to to outreach to these uh, band members or these football players that share the same army values um, that sh- soldiers have uh, that soldiers use on a daily basis. So you you mentioned band members, and I like that. I like the fact that you're taking uh, young people who have a sports interest as well as a musical interest and, and putting them in the same in the same level. Yes. Uh, so, so, what is your role? Are you the coach? I am. I, I'm not a coach. I, I'm one of the player soldier mentors. Oh, okay. And and have you, how many of the young people have you been working with? Uh, well, I was actually one of the selection tour uh, NCOs, not commissioned officers for the Midwest region. So um, I had about 35 different stops at 35 different high schools all across the Midred- Midwest region, and that ranged from football players to band members. So I actually got to talk to quite a, quite a bit of them. But uh, throughout the week, we are going to be uh, doing certain activities and, and, and events to uh, reach out to them and um, you know, find, find, find their goals, their life passions, talk to them, and uh, really see what it means to be selected as U.S. Army All-American. And uh, that's what's really amazing about this, because not just are the uh, uh, football players have to try out to be uh, selected to play in the game, but also the band members as well. And you're also going, and so they have to learn, each of the band members have to learn how to work with each other because they are going to be providing a spectacular halftime show. Yes, ma'am. The teamwork factor that comes in, into play with this uh, huge event is, is phenomenal because you got varieties of different backgrounds and cultures throughout the, the entire country coming together and working as a team, and, and that builds team building and cohesion, which uh, definitely is going to put on a great show during halftime. Is, is the game on TV? Can we watch it? 
Yes, the game is going to be on TV Saturday the 7th, uh, January 7th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on NBC. Oh, okay. And, and in, in addition to watching the game, do we learn, uh, especially do young people learn how they might be part of this in the coming years or next year? Right, could you hear me? Uh, go yeah, go army uh, go army dot com uh, backslash all American bowl. The website is where they could learn. Okay, to, uh, okay. An all American or be selected as an all American. So, maybe a better question I should have asked would have been are, on the on the broadcast of the game. Are you also getting the viewers, allowing the viewers to get to meet each of the players and, and give a little bit of their story? Each player has like their, their is going to have like their own story, like where they're going to go, what 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 high school they're coming from. So you get to know that about the players, you know, uh, especially the football players. Okay, I'm looking to see if there's any from uh, from Florida. I don't see any on the list here. It looks like they're from Utah, Arkansas, Ohio, Texas, Virginia, Missouri, California, Tennessee, and Samoa. Oh wow, and North Carolina. Wow, yes. that, that's a pretty diverse group. Okay, um, so again, so we go to the website, and, and please repeat the website again for me. It's going to be goarmy.com backslash All American Bowl. Okay, and that's how we find out uh, about watching the game as well as perhaps being considered. Uh, so, what, do you scout the high schools? Is that how you get the players? Well, to get the players, it, it's kind of actually like an interaction between the local recruiters and the high school. I see. Or, or you know, yeah, that's how they basically get their names put out there. And then um, uh, through a, a, a very careful process, these students will be selected uh, to either be a band member or to be a football player for the East and the West team. So uh, they have to start their junior year, and it's, it, it's definitely a, a long process and lengthy process for them, but very rewarding at the end. And it's very encouraging that uh, all of the uh, soldiers come together to be mentors for our youth. Yes, yes. Players and band members are paired with Army soldier mentors, outstanding soldiers who have earned distinctions from their commands. The, the soldier mentors intend practices and events throughout the week, which offers the one-on-one -on -one time with the Army, Army All-Americans. So these opportunities allow them to share experiences and key leaders uh, they have acquired through their Army service. Uh, Staff Sergeant Christopher Geber, thank you for being on the air with us, and a bigger thank you for what you're doing. You're absolutely making the world a better place in many different ways. Thank you for being on the air with us today. Thank you so much, and as always, greatly appreciated. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Wednesday, not as warm. With a mix of clouds and sun, there will be a shower or two. Our high 75 to 78. Wednesday night, partly cloudy and cooler. Low 51 to 56. Thursday, partly sunny. Nice with a high 72 to 76. Friday.